everyone this is dr sarala welcome to millet magic as requested by many of you who are looking to ditch dairy and explore fantastic plant based alternatives we today present to you a super interesting recipe of how to make peanut milk peanut curd and peanut butter milk Peanut milk is a rock star in the world of plant-based milks simply because peanuts are everywhere making this option super accessible plus it's super easy to whip up milk and curd from peanuts and it behaves just like cow's milk in your recipes not only is peanut milk versatile but it also has a slight nutty flavor which adds to the taste and the best part is it is loaded with nutrients it's rich in magnesium and potassium and has a lot of vitamin e it also has resveratrol which is anti aging anti inflammatory and good for your heart's health it's got a good amount of plant protein and also has the good kind of fat in it we already have videos of other plant based milk options on millet magic the link to these videos will be given in the description box below do check them out so let's quickly begin the first step is to make peanut milk for this we require half a cup of peanuts which you need to soak for about 4 to 5 hours after the soaking time drain out the water which was used for soaking the peanuts Add the peanuts into the mixer jar and add in half a cup of fresh water. Grind the peanuts into a smooth paste. Since we make plant-based milks very often in our kitchen, we have stitched a cotton cloth into a pouch shape. It just makes the process so much easier. But you can always use any thin white cotton cloth. or a muslin cloth now transfer the ground mixture into the cloth and using your hands squeeze out all the milk that is possible this is the first milk and is quite thick set it aside and then transfer the remaining pulp into the mixer jar again add another half cup of water and repeat the process of grinding again transfer the ground paste into the cloth and squeeze out all the liquid possible This is the second milk and even this is quite thick. Repeat the entire process for a third and final time. Transfer the pulp into the mixer jar and this time add 1 full cup of water. Grind everything again for about 30 to 40 seconds. Transfer the mixture into the cloth and squeeze out all the milk that you can. The third milk is quite thin and has been kept separately. You can use this to make a smoothie or even drink it directly with a little bit of jaggery. The first and the second milk which are relatively thicker in consistency can further be used to make peanut curd. So now to make peanut curd the first step would be to boil the milk. So transfer the first and second milk into a thick bottom vessel. Slowly heat it on a medium flame with occasional stirring. Peanut milk will boil and raise up just like you would expect with regular cow milk. At this point switch off the flame and allow the milk to cool a bit. Then transfer the boiled peanut milk into an earthen pot. The process of making curd from milk basically involves the process of fermentation with lactobacilli. Earthen pot has two advantages. 
The first is that the micro pores allow for good aeration which enhances the process of bacterial fermentation. Also, water evaporates through the pores making the curd thicker. Now we need to introduce lactobacilli into this peanut milk so that it ferments and becomes curds. You can do so by adding in half a teaspoon of curd which you already have but that's actually not really necessary. You can just break the tips of 5 to 6 green chilies which are very rich in lactobacilli and add them into the earthen pot. Now cover with a lid and set the pot aside in a warm place. The time needed for fermentation to make plant based curd is 3 to 4 hours longer than that needed for making curd from cow milk. Just to give you an idea, when we shot this video, the temperature in Mysore was a high of 32 and a low of 26 degrees centigrade and it took about 12 hours for the curd to set. And as you can see, the peanut milk has thickened and fermented to become peanut curd. The peanut curd is ready. You can enjoy it as such or you can use it to make millet curd rice or even make raita for millet pulav or biryani. Another way to enjoy this healthy peanut curd is to make tasty masala buttermilk from it. There are many ways to make masala buttermilk and here's one recipe which you can quickly follow to make yummy and refreshing buttermilk from peanut curd. You'll need half a fistful of coriander, a few mint leaves, one green chilli, half a teaspoon of jeera, pinch of hing and salt to taste. Instead of hing, you can use a clove of garlic and half an inch of ginger for a variation. Now into the mixer jar goes the coriander, the few mint leaves, the green chilli, half a teaspoon of jeera, a pinch of hing and salt to taste. Grind them together with a little water into a coarse paste. Now into a big vessel, add a cup of peanut curd. Churn it well to get a smooth consistency. Add 2-3 to three teaspoons of the ground paste into the curd and mix everything well together. Add 2-3 to three cups of water and churn well again to get buttermilk of desired consistency. Optionally, in summers, you can add a dash of lemon juice for additional cooling effect on the body. You may check and add a little more salt if required. The goodness of peanut curd, a dose of probiotic lactobacilli, the refreshing taste of mint and coriander with a hint of spice and jeera and hing to boost your digestive powers. All brought together in one cup of ultimate goodness. What's not to like? So don't hesitate any further. Quickly go and try out this healthy plant-based milk, curd and buttermilk recipe. We'll be back soon with another interesting and healthy recipe. Until then, happy cooking!